Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Crimson Rose and welcome to the Dinocraft server season 2.5 technically. Today we're going to be doing a little base tour of my base here on the server. The server is about uh, about done with its life expectancy. We're going to take the shield off and uh, we'll be resetting as soon as 1.16 comes out. And I'm about the only person that gets on nowadays, so... So this is it. This is a Japanese style castle. Um, came out from spawn, which is that way. Uh, I'll try to take time to look at spawn and all the other bases in a different episodes. But today we're going to be looking around mine. It's far from done, far from done. But uh, I think now is a good time to do a base tour. So let's start from the sky. Oh, my trusty elytra and here we go so you can see uh the you can see the light problem here so we have the yin yang uh, symbol for the pool we got nice beautiful wall going all the way around our base up here uh, not much kind of filling in but that's all right and you see this beautiful beautiful work of art right here we can land up top So I did this all in survival. Uh, it took me not terribly long to build this, but I built it like within like the first week of the server. I got super burnt out because of it, but, but here we are. Got the lanterns everywhere. Beautiful kind of uh, Asian theme going on here. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop down to a lower level. See the intricate detail. Uh, there's still more I could do technically, but I like how it is. We'll go ahead and kind of hop inside, look at everything. Uh, the water elevator wasn't a part of the original design, but it lends a way to get up and down. Uh, this isn't a functional building. It's meant to be aesthetic. Uh, yeah, it's not meant to be functional. So, oh, missed that one. That's why we have the water. And, All right, and then there's a nice walkway around the different levels. You see out. So I, I I ended up picking a place that was on top of the mountain range, next to an ice plains biome, next to the savanna. The desert is literally. Let's turn this back on. Literally right there. This is actually all desert right here, technically. Uh, and then we have the ocean biome. And I don't think on my current settings you can see it, but there you, you can see it. There is a coral reef right there. And then there is there's the spruce, uh, snowy taiga biome right there. And that's what all oh, just within its eyesight. Now, just outside of eyesight, there's a plains that way, and there with a village. And there is, um, that's about it, I guess. So this is undone, unfinished, undone. This is an unfinished project, but this is supposed to be a Tory Gate Nether Portal. It's, I like it a lot. We'll look at a closer look here in a little while. Almost out of rockets. Uh, that's an unfinished build. And then we'll go ahead and head down to the main level. We'll stop by here, I guess, for a hot second. Been working on this little connecting piece. Uh, big plans, like for the future, was to turn all this into a wheat field, uh, drain this into a lake, and that there's a uh, built a room under here, and I think that's what's causing this weird glitch to happen. But we'll go on in here into the the base of it. Big open square. Uh, the the main plan. The original plan was put some murals up here with them, uh, the glazed terracotta and do some really cool stuff. Get some cherry blossom trees in here. Uh, if I still have time, those are still things I want to do, but we'll see if that comes to fruition. We head on down. We ended up into a ravine that uh, is right there. So 
couple of different entrances to the ravine. Uh, supposed to be like a ravine city. Didn't quite get anywhere much with this. Uh, barracks. Supposed to be. And then enchanting room. Uh, AFK fishing, which I'm upset this breaks in the next update. Then we're not going to go through that door. It's just uh, ease of access. A couple of bedrooms. Uh, ritual plan all along here. Different bedrooms kind of make it feel more lively. And here's my favorite room, the chest room. Here you can see a nice overview of the area. Nice overview of the area. Chest room. Beautiful, beautiful. Dragon heads, uh, different banners. Um, miscellaneous, probably. All kinds of different banners from the season. Lots of shulker boxes, good stuff. Yeah, I've got pretty well organized uh, a lot of this. Like this whole double chest row right here, unused, totally unused. This was an idea that I was going to dedicate to its own area, but if it, just an idea for killing all the mobs. But, but yeah, this is the chest room, one of my favorite rooms. And then down here is so the smell tree, unfinished. Well, totally useful. But I would like to make it much bigger, much more uh, powerful. But the walls are undone. But I like how it turned out for the most part. Super. Works perfect. I love this flooring design. I've used this in uh, previous worlds. Kind of uh, with different blocks. Take down the staircase. And we see here this is huge overlip. Overhang. And so to add some like support... I uh, went with these wood cobs. I feel like it adds a lot to the build. And then there's another ravine that intersects with this one here. So nothing too much to look at. I started working on some farms. Yeah, that one's doing pretty good. That's about it. Uh, there is a third level. And never really had a full vision for what this was all going to be. But got the grass to grow down here, so that was cool. Long before I had Silk Touch. This dirt column. I didn't put it there. I think someone's been here. Excuse me. Thank you. So yeah, more or less, that's my base. Not a whole lot going on. I uh, spent most of my time and energy here on the castle. Tons of tons of ideas that I'd like to continue with this one. But um, not much time left in the server. So that's unfortunate. I'm pretty much the only one on. Haven't seen anyone in a long time. But proud of this. This is one of my biggest undertakings I've ever uh, taken in Minecraft. That's the... Uh, the Tory Gate. So yeah, this has been um oh, I should probably tell you the name of it. This is uh Gurin Castle, Crimson Lotus is the translation. So anyways guys, that's been my base. And I will see you next time on another uh Dinocraft tour. Until next time.